Coming up, students take a shot into the dark with a new school sport. And a CT Center student draws up designs for a strong future. All this and more for Squire C T V starts now. Welcome to Frisco ISD TV. I'm Maria Lemke. And I'm Tyler Buck. Thanks for joining us. In today's show, we start with a group of girls who are running towards a healthier future. Bailey Stone has the story. Exercise and friendship come together for a program that inspires girls to stay on track. We caught up with Bogart Elementary School's Girls on the Run. The premise is that it's a fitness or running based character education program to build female self-confidence um, and empowerment and self-reliance and competency. I want to be strong on the inside, not just the outside. Girls get to express their thoughts with other girls and they get to show their characters. Girls on the Run is an international nonprofit organization with teams of girls across North America. Bi weekly practices help them chase healthy lifestyles and relationships. I like to run because it's really healthy for my body. It helps me be more fit. Like, sometimes I eat on sugary stuff and don't think about what will happen to me. So I'm trying to eat more healthy foods and exercise more. It's uh, not only about running but it's about building character and we can talk about self-esteem, about gossiping, about uh, different subjects that are tough on girls this age from third grade to fifth grade. I have a little bit of anxiety and I have dyslexia and so sometimes I get bullied and I wanted to express my feelings with other people so they wouldn't have to feel that way and they would know what to do. These bonding experiences also prepared Bogart's team for the end of season 5K event at William Blair Park in Dallas. The 5K is just for our strength and our skill. It is not a race. Um, nobody is racing for first or second place. It's all about a group teamwork and you just train all together to run that 5K and face it. This time in our lives, in girls' lives, is when they start to build those friendships that can either bring them up or bring them down in the upcoming years, especially middle school. And so I wanted to give the girls an opportunity to build strong, positive, healthy relationships now and also equip them with the tools to make good choices as they grow and mature. The strides these girls are taking now will hopefully give them good footing in the future. I'm Bailey Stone for Frisco ISD TV. Thanks, Bailey. In the middle of it all, Western Middle School elevated their stance on bullying. Let's go to Jonathan Luke for more. Western Middle School took bullying prevention to new heights as students learned how to rise above stressful situations. You've heard this a thousand times, and a lot of us count the hours until the day ends. I get that. I, I really do. Students were filled with advice as seniors from Centennial High School gave them tips on how to deal with bullying. I'm not things you once said to you. Don't say it. Simple as that. They took their message out to the field. Soon after, floating specks filled the sky, representing the school's initiative to black out bullying. While some of the balloons got stuck in trees, hopefully this experience will stick in the minds of students as they interact with others. I'm Jonathan Luke for Frisco ISD TV. Thanks, Jonathan. In higher learning, high school students in the district are pointing towards a sport that will help them soar. Shaylin Broom is on target. Some Frisco ISD students are taking aim at a sport that focuses on hitting the target. We have a, an outdoor adventure class that the kids receive their APE credit through. And with the beginning of this class this year, we developed the Outdoor Adventure Club. The archery class is offered at Heritage High School. It's also an after-school club open to students from around the district. I was kind of like looking for something out of the norm, 
So I thought doing archery, that was, should be something like very adventurous and exciting. A guy in my old hunting club, um, he came up to me and it was like, I was wondering if you can propose this to your principal. And next thing you know, I get a call saying, hey, the archery program is gonna be here your senior year. And I thought to myself, yes, this is amazing. In order to hit the bullseye, you have to follow the rules. You're supposed to have it on your foot at first until the coach rings the whistle, yep. and then you pick it up, aim at it, and then just shoot. Archery, it's an art form. You know, you don't want to be all stiff and everything when you shoot. You know, you want to be very loose and very guided, and you don't want to be all technical. You know, you just kind of got to feel the bow. If you drop a bow, you cannot pick it up, and anybody that comes in cannot walk in until we are done shooting. The two center yellow circles present 10 and 9, and as we work our way out through the increments of the target, we reduce by one point. So we start at the very center at 10, and we end up all the way to the outer white circle, which is one point. They learn key concepts that lead to success. If you don't have good arm muscles, you're just going to get sore. Patience for sure. <laughs> and have good band-aids. This program helps students find their core. It's for athletes, it's for anybody in other UIL activities, but primarily it's trying to reach that uh, student that doesn't have a niche for them to belong to. Archery goes beyond the sport, teaching life lessons that propel students forward. You can just make some good friends here. Whenever you're faced with something serious or challenging, you know, you don't want to go on it. Uh, headstrong, you know, take a breath and then once you get to the bottom of that breath, just go with it and just shoot. Being refined and paying attention to the small little bitty things in this activity can equate to paying attention to those small little steps in life. I'm Shaylin Broom for Frisco ISD TV. Thanks Shaylin. Maria, do you think you could shoot an arrow like that? Not at all. I leave that to Katniss. <laughs> I love the Hunger Games. And High Tech Happenings, a CT Center graphic design student, is definitely bringing his creativity into focus. Natasha Burklow has more. Elliott Elementary School is hung up on Jake Ludicky's creativity. His designs are posted on the walls of their campus. Last year, we used the Kate Center uh, for our logo for our spirit shirts. And this is the logo that we chose, and it was designed by one of the students there. So when we decided we wanted to have banners made for our cafeteria, I thought, let's go back to the Kate Center and see if a student there could design those for us. This is Jake Ludicky. It just seemed like a really, really fun project to do for elementary school. Many notice the qualities Jake brings to his work, and he's only in 10th grade found Jake to be a wonderful young man and I, I feel like he's a very talented gentleman and will probably go far in his career. He seems to have a passion for graphic design and integrating technology into his work as well. I see myself in graphic design, maybe even photography or film. Jake is enrolled in the first year of graphic design and illustration. Jake has an excellent eye for design. He's a quick worker. Um, he has great um, skills with typography and color scheme as well. Not only do we see Jake's designs at the elementary level, they're catching eyes district-wide and throughout the community as well. Jake's designs are featured with City House. Um, he did the Friscothon dance logo, which is for a fundraiser. He also won the counselor's logo for the district, as well as the professional development logo and health news you can use, which is featured every week in our staff emails. LA Elementary put their hands together to honor Jake and it was a chance to learn about the district's Career and Technical Education Center. We wanted to celebrate Jake. Uh, we wanted to thank him for choosing our project as something that he wanted to participate in. And on the other hand, also wanted to show our elementary students what opportunities are available to them when they reach the high school level. And I think it's just always great to have those high school students come and talk to our kids and see what they can do, some opportunities that will be available for them. As Jake will continue designing for Frisco ISD, hopefully he will continue to craft himself a bright future. I'm Natasha Burklow for Frisco ISD TV. Thanks, Natasha. An FISD campus helps students rise to new heights in their academic career. Here's Kyle Kang with the story. The RISE program and Actor Special Program Center is helping students reach their full potential. The RISE program is a pretty innovative tool that we've, we've put together here to help pull kids from their home campus 
and to really dive into reasons why they might not be successful in the general education setting. It's made a tremendous impact on the classrooms. It's taken out the kids that kind of fall through the cracks, that aren't there for special ed, that haven't had the pull-out programs, that get that little extra one-on-one -on -one with us. It's a very different classroom setup. In fact, if you just kind of look around in the room, you'll notice that we don't have traditional desks. Unlike a traditional classroom, teachers and students are able to build much stronger relationships because of the class size. It's more like on one-on-one -on -one teaching. I like Agger because it helps me learn more about science, math, reading, and writing. Teachers and staff hope that after a few weeks at Acker, students will show enough growth to return to their campus. Students are now getting better grades on STAR tests, they're getting better grades, and now it's the results, and they don't define themselves by that. They define themselves by the hard work they had to do to get there. Sometimes students struggle, and this option at Acker acts as a helping hand for those in need. I'm Kyle Kang for Frisco ISD TV. Thanks, Kyle. Starting next year, the Acker Special Program Center is merging with the Student Opportunity Center. And Mr. Perry will be the new principal of Trent Middle School. That's it for this episode of Frisco ISD TV. Join us next time for a look at how culture influences an FISD campus. And Cobb Middle School's principal gets in a sticky situation. I'm Maria Lemke. And I'm Tyler Beck. Thanks for watching.